I'm a historical sociologist and a methodologist by training. I received my PhD in 2023 from Princeton University in Sociology, and I study the context and practice of social measurement. Social measurement is the process of constructing and evaluating data describing social processes. I'm interested in both the historical, cultural, and political context in which measurement happens, and I'm also interested in understanding and improving how measurement is done in practice. So a really important part of social measurement is validation. Social scientists ask lots of theoretical questions, and we want to answer these questions by an analyzing and interpreting data. But not every interpretation of data is an equally good answer to our questions, um, and that's where validation comes in. So validation is the process of determining what kinds of interpretations of data are more or less reasonable, and clarifying what kinds of conceptual and logical assumptions those interpretations depend on. Um, a particular focus of my current research is validating applications of machine learning and AI for analyzing text data in the social sciences. This is a field that's really expanded a lot in the past decade, and social scientists have always really been interested in studying text, so there's lots of questions that we can only really answer by studying how people exchange language with one another. Um, and there's, there's more and more excitement about what we can do with big collections of text using cutting-edge computational tools, but having these new capabilities also creates these new validation challenges. The more data analysis tools that we have, the more uncertainty we have about how to phrase our research questions in terms of these tools. So in my research, I investigate what kinds of uses of certain tools are better or worse for answering certain questions. Our measures and our research questions are rarely perfect matches, but by focusing on the assumptions that link those two things, we can get more precise about our questions, more clear about what we're doing with our data, and more confident that they're tightly connected with one another. Um, I'm, I'm particularly looking forward to collaborating with researchers here at Sciences Po who have important problems and pressing questions they think we can solve using these new text analysis tools. So at Sciences Po, I'll be teaching courses in sociology about the interactions between technology and society, as well as technical courses about working with text data. I'm especially excited about a master's level course I'll be teaching this semester called AI and Society, which is an introduction to the technical culture of AI and machine learning. Uh, this is a class that's co-taught with a statistician at University of Paris Cité named Arlie Fisher, and it's going to be a really cool class because students will learn both how to talk precisely about what AI systems do technically and how they're evaluated, as well as a lot about the historical, cultural, and political contexts around AI that are the reasons why it's developed the way that it has. Sciences Po.